Dobrad also discusses her platinum-selling music career and her excitement for becoming a mother. Dobrad always blazed a trail, being the first solo female rapper to sell one million albums with her debut release Functified in 1994. The 50-year-old lyricist has now shown her devoted fans that she still has what it takes to rock the mic while she is expecting her first child. During an interview on Better Live, hosted by Yo-Yo in Las Vegas, where her wife Jessica Judy Harris Dupart made an unexpected appearance, Dobrat talked about what motivated her to pursue her career and why she thought the future would be so promising. Though it may seem unbelievable to hip-hop enthusiasts, Dobrat's prosperous musical career wasn't predestined. In her early years, she lived with her grandmother in Chicago and attended church frequently. Dobrat recalled to Yo-Yo, I was raised in church, where you couldn't wear no makeup, no earrings, nothing at all, and your skirts had to be down at your ankles. They called the other music the devil's music, so after you were sanctified, you could only listen to gospel music. She kept her love of rap a secret from her grandmother and used notebooks to jot down poems and lyrics. I took off the school bus with an LL Cool J tape. My very first tape was that one. The budding rapper was signed to So So Deaf by super producer Jermaine Dupri in 1992 following his victory in a Yo! MTV Raps competition and meeting Criss Cross. When he featured her on Criss Cross's 1993 song Da Bomb, she shot to fame as a breakout artist with a distinct style and sound. Her aspirations for solo success only grew as a result of being raised in the footsteps of Queen Latifah, Moni Love, and MC Light, the pioneering women of hip-hop. Dobrat continued to shatter boundaries, releasing four albums and collaborating with such icons as Mariah Carey, Lil Kim, Missy Elliott, Destiny's Child, and Brandy. Additionally, she received two Grammy Award nominations, one for the 1998 remix of Not Tonight and another for the 2004 song Got It Poppin'. The rapper and radio personality started what may have been her most significant project after getting married in 2022. Yo-Yo was informed by Dobrat about her feelings regarding their son's impending birth, including specifics about her traumatic IVF experience. Judy developed an enlarged heart and blood clots in her lungs after having eggs removed. It got really scary, Dobrat recalled. My goal is not to lose my wife, but their difficulties had not ended. Dobrat miscarried following the implantation of an egg. That was difficult. It was gloomy. I'm not a quitter, though.